<laughs> well, that's You fragile. take one look at Jose Canseco when he played and you go, oh yeah, he, he took steroids. Was he literally looks like Sankey. No. Oh. But you know. Well, now I feel a little bit less good about telling you to follow him. It's just, no, it's just very funny. That's fine. He's got a very funny Twitter. Yeah. Two gentlemen, though, who have, I don't know where I'm segueing this. Neighbor, take it away. Happy he has a very funny Twitter. Anyway. Thanks. <laughs> For your benefit. Yeah, no, go follow I'm, I'm MVD you, at MVD731. I'm making you look better, because if I segue poorly, then we're both bad. That's true, except now we just both look bad. Oh, you're right. We should both look good. Now. Unlike these two players, <laughs> who are both... <laughs> that almost faded into a Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Unlike these... No, 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 I, we, no we promised, no, we, promised we wouldn't so, do impressions. MVD and... You baited me. I'm, I hate you. I'm sorry. I told you not to, though. It was like... Now you're doing your Canadian voice. It's all gone that's, off the That's That's my voice. Stop calling it my Canadian voice. That's literally me. So MVD versus Denti is happening. Now right we were talking now. earlier. Now these two played earlier. Yes, they and did. We were talking about how Ivysaur really struggles against Snake, but I mean honestly, who doesn't? Right. But yeah, I mean I think that Denti was realizing okay, Squirtle's Woo! getting blown up a little bit, and. Ivysaur has some pretty crazy kill potential. Definitely does. And they also didn't strike to the stage in the first time. They just went to PS2. And mm -hmm. I'm surprised to see that even along with stage striking, they were allowed to go to FD because normally this is one of Snake's like auto bans a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. It, it could be very much independent. But most Snake players that I know just hate FD and just auto ban. Well, right there, I MVD, mean, he, he's shown it off like a lot on those uh, on those tech chases that he can get. Especially against a big body like Charizard. My gosh, he just kept running. Double dash attack. That's one way to punish a water gun. <laughs> he's somersaulting. Oh! Uh, sure. <laughs> just stand there and watch it for a sec. <laughs> Minus 23 on shield. Oh. Oh! And that he got was the spike sick. too? Wow. That was so sick. MVD's pretty sick at the video game. He tossed up the grenade. That was cute too. Denti's playing with fire. Literally, it's a grenade. Oh my the gosh, smash. the read on the air dodge in. Okay, these players are taking turns just demolishing each other on the last two stocks. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite kind of Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. That's a, that's that's what we all tune in to see. That's my, my least favorite kind to play because then I feel really good and then really bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a constant mood swing. It's like I, I would just like us to interact, but... uh. Denti's not getting the opportunity to do that much, no. man. He is interacting with a lot of grenades. Okay. MVD's Stop definitely triggering. got that scavenger perk, man. Ooh, okay, look. That's another thing that kind of stinks about Ivy in the matchup is, yeah, you have good long-range poking tools that are normally safe. Ooh. Except much like uh, Ike or Shulk, like, you're going to hit the whole snake and you're going to hit that grenade. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to actually space around it. Denti actually almost picked up the game on that yeah. down air, but now he's got to deal with Nikita as Charizard. And yeah, that's no going to be a game. Mm -hmm. Sending the way that MVD is facing by that Nikita. And that is game one going to the Oklahomian Snake Main. As trainer against Nikita, you really don't have options. Because if you're Squirtle, you have no options other than swap to Ivy and then you're Ivy and you get a hit and you're fine. Like, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're Ivy, you swap to Zard and then you're Zard and it's terrible. Or if you're Zard, you might swap to Squirtle and there's a chance that the Nikita might not hit you as much because you're really small, but if it hits you, you die at like seven. Mm -hmm because you're Squirtle. It's a bad time all around. Nikita is very good. Very, very difficult to deal with. Yeah. I mean, it's... <laughs> Most characters have trouble with it. But now you have... I, I struggle to think of a character that doesn't struggle against Nikita. Right. Yeah. Nikita's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good move, man. Okay. MVD already putting Denti in the corner. Plenty of damage to so go he, around for him. He's putting a dent in Denti? I did because, not say that. Because I would say that. I'm glad you would. Look at that. That's because a quick 68. Here's the thing, neighbor. I'm sure that nobody's ever said that before. Never. That's completely original. the most original, original, hilarious individual on the couch. Comedy Central, get this man a 30-minute stand-up. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Which I would pay to see. <laughs> My brother. Oh, Let's I'll trapping. Yeah, no, I, I'm not. We're not opening a, another can of worms no, right now. There's too Arguably, many worms. we already opened one too many by opening one. Oh god. MVD, however, is opening up Denti pretty well right now and wow, catching bad died. DI. Yeah, definitely was just trying to drift away from any kind of that situation. Mm -hmm. Now already. Didn't even you want know. the Squirtle? He's at zero percent. and He decided Squirtle was not a choice. <laughs> yeah, which is fine. I mean, 
I think Squirtle might have the easiest time navigating neutral against Snake. Uh, but if you get hit, it's just terrible. Yeah. Ivy's like the middle ground play. Because you can do that! Ooh, wow. Vine Whip is so good! Vine Whip is so good. It's very uh, good move. That's where we've seen Denti get a lot of these earlier stocks. Being off stage or being ledge trapped, like Ivy. Uh, in general, unless you're Squirtle, being ledge trapped sucks as trainer, and Squirtle doesn't even have the best of it. That's true. But Ivy is particularly not great at the ledge. No. And now, I mean, we're seeing, even though Denti's got, like, control of the stage right now, he's still down, and MVD is content to just lay airstrikes on him from up above. I can't believe that <laughs> Denti's still alive. My gosh, and he's somehow still living! And there we go. Nikita locks him into shield. Ooh, that roll in was great, actually. Perfectly timed. He knew that MVD just kind of wanted to finish out that stock, but he does get it with the C4. Yeah, because Charizard is humongous. Gets hit by that C4 on the flat. So sad that Charizard is so big that turning around and putting the tail towards your opponent makes your hitbox smaller Ugh. than than facing them. That's so funny. Yeah. Because his neck is just that big. That's a punish. He just waits for the grenade. Yeah. But that actually blew up uh, shield poked MVD. I, I think waiting for the you grenade. Can't, was you smart. can't hold bullet seat forever, right? That's a no, fixed no, no. Move. It's, it's a fixed amount of time. Okay. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> if you could hold oh, that for forever. Landed with it? Yeah, no, uh, so because Bullet Seed, like you drop like a rock when you're activating Bullet Seed. Right. Um, so it just kind of can be a landing option. Like that's why it works out of shield because you jump and then immediately fall back down. Oh, okay. Um, and it does like 21%. It's kind of crazy. Does a lot of damage. MVD's doing a lot of damage with the grenades though. Again, this is. <laughs> He's explosive, uh, both literally and figuratively. Ooh. And all it takes is, like, you know, one throw setup to get MVD on that C4. It might be curtains for this game, too. Oh my gosh, he's still really going. Gotta respect that Nikita so much. And I like that, M or that Denti was respecting the Nikita, too. He didn't try to do anything cute with it. Nice recovery. Mm -hmm. We saw him pull that out once in winter semis. Now doing it here, and it could actually get him the game. Yeah, you go for that tether cancel. Of course, the downside is. Uh, now you are playing as Charizard against Snake, mm. and that's hard. <laughs> Not yeah. easy to avoid any of the... anything. Not Big easy to avoid anything. My gosh, but he is somehow avoiding all of these explosives, but MVD reads that approach with the flamethrower, which Denti had done a couple of times. He picked up on it. Denti has definitely changed his game plan from winners. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gotten a lot more proactive. In winners, he was just holding shield a lot and getting grabbed and getting mixed up up down throw. It's a very different set right now, but MVD is still coming out on top. They're very close games, but MVD is holding leads and MVD is doing a really good job of just maintaining presence. That's it what still he feels does. Like even if uh, stocks are even, or even if like Denti has a lead, it still feels like he has to chase the snake the whole time, and it's like MVD's pace no matter what. Yeah. The only, the only time that you ever really see MVD struggle is when he goes down. And speaking of going down, uh, Denti has changed up the character selection to one that he, like you said, probably doesn't prefer. Right. We were talking about it a little bit before the first set in Winners. We didn't expect to see the Olimar at all because there's a really weird interaction in this matchup where... Saw right there. Yes, we're, we're seeing it. Uh, the Pikmin... Oh, that's tragic. Ow. So the Pikmin, yes. uh, they are generous benefactors and really love their captain and support their captain. And as a result, they want the best for their captain. So they see an item on the ground and think, maybe my captain will like this and I'll bring it back to him. Did you see MBD trade with that up smash? Yeah, I sure did. Not even trade, just clank just with clank, it and yes. Denti could act. Yes. Um. But anyways, what Neighbor was going to say is that Pikmin pick up grenades and carry them back to Olimar. Yeah, and they are live grenades and they blow up and Olimar has a bad time. <laughs> It's, you know, it had no bearing on Denti losing that first stock, even though we did see it happen. Now we see uh, this game's going to be played a full screen, man. And not only People that, will be pressing buttons, but it'll be a full screen. <gasps> oh my gosh. Nice chase. <sighs> not, not only do the do you have that unfortunate interaction, but Olimar is also Olimar, to state the obvious. He's a very light character. He'll mm -hmm. die to up tilt right now. Yes, he will. Like, That's exactly what I was thinking. 
There, there's a lot of stuff that will kill the Olimar. Oh, no, he's Lee. pulling back the grenade! Dead he had to give up all of the stage control because the grenade was being pulled back by the red. <laughs> he had to run and escape. The worst part is the red Pikmin doesn't even reap what he's sown. He's immune to explosions. Mm -hmm. Which is why you actually do prefer two red Pikmin in this... Oh, it's so sad for Denti. ...in this uh, particular matchup. Mm -hmm. You want to have the two red Pikmin so that no, they No, he... Denti actually made use of it that yeah. time, though. He's able to grab him and throw it. But MVD, man. Three stock to one lead. Yeah. Denti does pick up the stock with that purple Pikmin. But this is uh, quite a mountain to climb. Oof. Really like, <laughs> you don't even have to try to fish for the red one. It's just survival of the fittest. The red ones will live. So funny, that red Pikmin was a champion. He tanked the C4 and then he died by bonking off of MVD shield. Aww. Going to the bottom blast zone. What a champion. Alright, Denti though gets the grab, does get some damage. The grenades once again coming to save MVD and Denti just has the one Pikmin. Just pushing that advantage though, still just pushing it. MVD thinks that he's going to back up, but Denti has other ideas. Olimar does have really good tools to actually chase Snake. Having uh, the purple Pikmin to toss off and being able to fly and then go for a further edge guard is uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. But you're still Olimar. You're very late. And, and your Pikmin keep you. picking up the grenades. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny is that the Pikmin just fly towards you. So this is the grenade zipping around the screen like a mosquito. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, this is not looking horrible for Denti. No, and Denti has to at zero. At zero at the start of the game. And this is doable for him. And I can't believe I'm saying that after the way this game started. Yeah. Uh, Denti's been playing really nicely. Oh, wow. But God, he is down... 100%. Now by a margin. Yeah. When it was at 60, I was like, oh, yeah, he can do this. Yeah. Now I mean, looking at this, I'm going, is nice. Yeah. But he's got to find a way to do that oh, around the grenades. And, yeah, I thought he was stuck, but oh, he better eyes than I He almost converted the down tilt into that Nikita that was just flying up there. Mm -hmm. Which would have been that sick. Been, that would have been a way to end uh, the set. That would have been cheating. <laughs> that would have been not fair. Look at that aerial drift from Denti. That was so nice, the mix-up. Oh, Jesus. Denti is holding on for dear life. Oh. And well, I've seen that twice yeah. in my life and twice tonight. Those two things are related. MVD just <laughs> coming down with the overhead. Runs Denti up. was blocking low. Where's cheeks when you need him? <laughs> it's an overhead. I need him to announce that <laughs> so that I know it's an overhead. <laughs> yeah, so Denti. Oh my god, can this. I hate this. I'm not a fan of this. It's going to sit down there now. So...